Have you been enjoying Google's Super AI Chatbot? Google has been doing a lot of big things this year. From their impressive gadget lineup to AI innovations like Palm 2 and Bard, it's safe to say Google is on fire. However, out of all their releases this year, it's undeniable that one stands out and immediately takes the cake. Welcome back AI Nexus, Alex Shepard here, your most favoritist narrating king suave something something I, I'm making this up as I go. Listen, the point is we're about to be talking about a little thing called Bard. I don't know if you've ever used it before. I have a couple of times I gotta test all this stuff out. You know, that's just kind of how it goes. Wouldn't be much if I were to narrate and not utilize any of this stuff, but that's besides the point. Let, let's, let's, let's jump into it. Bard fully came out in May 2023 and is still in development, yet it's learned and done so much that it's now a top runner in the AI race. As I said, Bard is still in development and Google recently just shared what they've been working on. And I've gotta say, it's some stuff we've been excited for and waiting to see. If you thought Google Bard was impressive before, just wait till you hear what they've just rolled out. We're talking next level integrations, tools that will make your jaw drop and features that will literally make your digital life a whole lot easier. You don't want to miss a single moment of this. Let's get cracking. Unless you live under a rock, chances are you've either heard of or used Google Bard at some point since it came out. I mean, the name was everywhere, especially with the tech world wondering if it would knock out ChatGPT as the top AI in the race. For our new viewers, Google Bard is a generative AI chatbot that is powered by Google's incredible large language model Palm 2. Palm 2 is a massive neural network trained on a massive data set of text and code, which essentially means that Bard can generate text, translate languages, write different kinds of creative content, and answer your questions as a chatbot in an informative way. Bard can understand and generate both natural and programming languages. It can also access and process information from the real world through Google search. This makes Bard a very powerful and versatile AI tool. Initially, Bard leaned heavily on Lambda, or language model for dialogue applications, to get that conversational groove. But as Google does, they amped it up a notch. They integrated the Pathways Language Model 2, or POM2, to power some of Bard's cooler, advanced features. Think things like coding help and multimodal search that's on the horizon. But Google isn't one to stop there and call it a day. Their products continue to evolve and boy is Bard shaping up to be incredible. With the new updates, it now works even better with other Google apps and services. That Google-it feature that many of us love so much has now gotten an unexpected boost that promises to multiply efficiency. Google also rolled out Bard to more spots and added some fresh language support. Here are the updates in full details. All right, Alex Shepard again. Listen, I, I gotta stop real quick. I'm actually playing with this stuff right now. Oh, this is so cool. This is... I'm sorry to tease you. I will tell you all about it. Just keep... Just listen. Just, okay, are you are you are you listening? Are we good? Are we yeah? Yeah, we're good. Okay, we're good. Check this out. Let's dive straight into the coolest update on Google Bard that will make you accomplish tasks as if you had four hands. I'm talking about Google Bard's integration with Google Apps and Services. And this is a feature you will love. There's no doubt about that. This update allows you to connect your Gmail, Google Docs, or Drive with Bard. Imagine a world where your virtual assistant can not only interact with you, but can pull information from various Google tools like Gmail, Docs, Drive, and even Google Maps. As someone whose workflow weaves through these apps and services every single day, I can't deny that I'm more than excited. Imagine you're planning a trip to the Grand Canyon. Instead of juggling a gazillion tabs and tools, you can just ask Bard to do the legwork for you. You can simply tell Bard, hey, pull out the dates from Gmail when everyone's free. Then, without missing a beat, you could search for real-time flight options, hotel availability, and even get those tricky Google Maps directions to the airport. And if you're looking to amp up the excitement, why not have Bard show you some epic YouTube videos of activities at the Grand Canyon? That's your trip planning sorted in a single conversation. But wait, that's not all. Let's say you're on the job hunt, aiming for that dream position. Here's where Bard comes into play again. If you ask Bard, Bard, grab my resume titled June 2023 from Drive and condense it into a short personal statement. And just like that, Bard becomes your personal career assistant, helping you craft that cover letter. I mean, the possibilities are endless. I'm practically giddy with all the tasks that could become wildly simpler with just this feature alone. Now, I know what you're thinking. Privacy concerns, right? That's a constant one I completely understand. But here's the thing. Google is all in when it comes to your privacy. If you're using these workspace extensions, rest assured, no human eyes are peeking at your Gmail, Docs, or Drive content. Plus, Bard isn't using your data to show ads or train itself. And the cherry on top? You're always at the driver's seat with your privacy settings. You can choose how you want to use these extensions, and if you ever feel like it, you can switch them off. 
Alex Shepard here again. I know I keep butting in, but this is awesome. This is so cool. I cannot wait to see it roll out. All the features. It's going to be a never-ending update after update. So these ones that are coming out right now are pretty awesome. I got a question, though. What do you think about them? Let me know in the comments below, and if you do, I'll comment right back. All right, so there's two things I hate when it comes to using these AI chatbots. One, when they completely misinterpret my questions, and two, when they provide false or inaccurate information. Drives me nuts. If you absolutely hate when that happens, then Google has brought you a solution. This update is more than just a tech upgrade. It's about enhancing your experience and making sure you get dependable information every single time. Let's break it down. With Bard's new Google It feature, these doubts are a thing of the past. Whenever Bard provides a response in English, you'll notice a sleek little G icon. Click on it, and the magic begins. By clicking the G icon, Bard essentially says, let me double check that for you. It swiftly looks through the vast expanse of the web, ensuring its response aligns with the most accurate and recent information out there. Certain phrases in Bard's answers will then be highlighted. Clicking on these will give you a peek into supporting or contradicting information from the web. Think of it as Bard's way of saying, hey, don't just take my word for it. Here's what the web says. So how is this useful in real life? Well, picture this. You're getting some research help for a thesis or academic paper with Google Bard. I mean, the thing can come in pretty handy for that sort of stuff. But plot twist. It's just provided you some info that looks eh, sketchy at best. Now you want to be super sure before taking that info as legit. So what do you do? You hit that G icon, and you can instantly cross-reference with legitimate sources. But that's not the only thing Bard is doing to improve conversation quality. Have you ever wished you could dictate the tone and format of Bard's responses? Well, dream no more. Whether you want a concise answer, a detailed one, a formal response, or something with a touch of humor, Bard has got your back. And the best part? You can flip these preferences as you go. Need a quick fact? Choose a brief text response. Craving an in-depth explanation? A detailed voice response might be your best friend. And for those who love sharing intriguing conversations, Bard now lets you build on shared chats. If you get a Bard chat link from a friend, you can just join and jump right in. Continue the conversation or steer it in a new direction with your own burning questions. It's all up to you. In a nutshell, Bard isn't here to just give answers. It's here to double check them, customize them, and ensure that what you get is top-notch every single time. It's all about making your conversation smoother, smarter, and way more reliable. Oh, and uh, are you loving this content so far? Because if you are, you should make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss every new AI development to hit the market. There's nothing I love more than having fact check information given to me, especially even more so at my fingertips with such convenience. That's kind of a big thing for me. Now, if you're new to the channel, you're new to AI in general, Go check out Bard. It's This thing is awesome. You'll love it. Anything you need to know, it's plugged into the web. Right there. Now, ChatGPT is awesome. Don't get me wrong, I love it. But it doesn't have up-to-date information. So if you haven't checked out Bard yet, me, Alex Shepard, highly recommends that you go do that right now. All right. You've probably been enjoying Bard's English features, like uploading images with lens and even getting search images and responses. Now, guess what? Google just supercharged all of this for many more of us globally. Previously, Bard was primarily an English-only mate, hanging out mainly in the US and UK. It was great, but Google thought, why stop there? So they've opened the doors to over 40 languages. Whether you speak Arabic, Chinese, German, Hindi, Spanish, or any of the 40, Bard's got your back. Now, it's not just about adding new languages. The real magic is that all the awesome features you loved in English, they're available in these languages too. Imagine listening to Bard's responses in voice format in, say, fluent German or Hindi. That's just too cool, right? Now, in a real-world setting, let's see how useful this could be realistically. Right off the bat, I think it improves accessibility to Bard's incredible features for now people across the world. But as someone who's been trying to pick up French for the better part of the year, I'd say this Bard feature is exactly what I need. With Bard's multi-language capability, you could practice conversational skills, ask for translations, or just chat to get the hang of it. Or perhaps you've got friends or business partners speaking a different language. Just open Bard, and it becomes your instant translator, breaking down language barriers. And think about the global conversations that this could spark. Exploring various topics, seeking perspectives from every corner of the world. It's like having a window to global thinking right on your device. What's driving these fantastic updates, though? All these features wouldn't be possible without Google's new Palm 2 model. And trust me, it's their most advanced yet. And every time it does something, I'm in awe all over again. We have quite a few videos touching on what Palm 2 does and how it works. So make sure to check those out. 
basically, Google has taken user feedback to heart, integrating state-of-the-art reinforcement learning techniques. The result? BART is more intuitive, imaginative, and simply put, smarter. From collaborating creatively to getting in-depth coding assistance, BARD's improved model ensures the responses are top-notch in quality and accuracy. All right, so let me lay out my thoughts for you. I genuinely feel that Google is pulling out the big guns with these updates. They're not just trying to match competitors. They're setting their sights on creating a global AI platform that resonates with users worldwide. It's quite evident that Google is trying to keep their reputation as a shining bright tech giant. And this BARD update, well, it's an incredible step in the right direction. Want to see other developments that are dropping right now in the AI world? Then you definitely need to see this video right here.